word. Okay, Maxie, let's do another one of your articles then. Okay, so m- my article for this week is there's a mum who told her daughter she should get plastic surgery because, quote, ugly people get nowhere. <gasps> Close quote. What? What the heck? And how old her daughter? Is it? Is it? Teen. Her, her daughter looks pretty. Is this the people? Is this the ones in the picture? The mum is not the, very good looking. Yeah. Emma, that'd be very weird of an article <laughs> that had two separate people that was n- n- nothing to do with the article. You don't think they do that? <laughs> Stock uh, pictures? No, I yes, but for this instant, no way. And what? this is the same mum who lied to get an NHS nose job. Um, and she was in like the newspapers a while back because of that as well. <gasps> oh, okay. So like she's... she was like, oh, I broke my nose falling down a flight of stairs or something like that. I'm not sure what she said. It was. Her I'm daughter's sure really pretty. So I she's... think she said she needs to get a boob, uh, a boob job and a bum raise. Or At 14? Like <gasps> I don't know. Okay, this is the thing. I'm not sure if she said she should get it now. Tanisha isn't the most academic of girls, so I don't really care about her education, unlike with my boys. That's what she said. <gasps> oh, wow. She will need to rely on her looks to get on in life, so she will need to be perfect. Other people get nowhere these days. Um, and then Carter told the magazine, that's the mum, she spends about £200 a month on improving her daughter's appearance. <gasps> I just read here, it just says that <laughs> she's going to have to rely on her looks to become a reality star because she's not naturally Hello, intelligent. Is there an echo in here? Cause no, Maxie he just said, said something that. else. So, because she's not naturally intelligent, she's gonna have to become a reality star. Is there an echo in here? Because that's what Maxie just said. <laughs> Did you, Maxie? I didn't. I, I didn't say the reality star. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> someone has to. <laughs> yeah, here goes. Eat humble Tanisha's pie. going to have. <laughs> so, can it is uh, Tanisha is Tanisha the daughter is going to have fillers and Botox when she turns sixteen, and then breast implants <gasps> at eighteen. Why? She's like planning also out this wants daughter's... to give a teenage daughter to get teeth veneers. Um, <gasps> at the moment, she's just doing hair extensions, uh, eyebrow tightening, and then something oh else. I can't see it. Like, this is this is just another example. She wants oh, her to get a Brazilian bum lid. It's got it's got a, it, it's some sort of of you say. Yeah. But this is also like my this is my parenting thoughts, right? This is like the parent putting limitations on the kid. She's like saying 14. you're not smart. You can't do this. All you can be is a reality yeah. star. Yeah, the world that she's, it's already planning the world that she's going to live in. That's disgusting. And, she's and messing story. up her child. She's literally it's messing sad. up the child. That's it's so sad. sad. Oh my gosh, it is. A- it's infuriating. I'm <laughs> she's the proof that some people shouldn't have children. I can't believe that. After her confession, a public petition was set up calling for her to be prosecuted. So far, it's only got it's got 143 signatures. She's if she's received a lot of trolling, so she's ha- she's on leave from work, stress leave. I would fire her. That off. was, but the the petition was wasn't on her daughter. Her petition was on her nose job, right? Because she said she admitted to milking the system to get the nose job she wanted. Oh. So they were like, they that she should be punished because that's taxpayers' money. But the thing is, the job. daughter... She should be punched in the nose and have her broken. The daughter is prettier than the mum. <laughs> the the daughter, daughter is naturally more pretty than the mum. Where's the dad? Well... I don't know. Well, I don't know what she's... I don't think she's had anything done like um, like plastic surgery-wise yet, but she's already doing stuff to her now to try and keep her pretty, like... Where did it say it? Uh, 200 pounds a, um, a month. worth of... 200 pounds a month she spends on keeping her daughter pretty. Oh, how, and why are these people letting her do stuff to the daughter already? What do you mean, what, these oh, people? Who no, are you talking it's, about? Now it's hair extension, nail oh. treatment, and eyebrow tinting is all she's had. So, like, they're the kind of things which you can't really stop. Yeah. When she's I mean, 16, even if you're 14 years stuff, old. Right? But imagine you're the eyebrow lady and you're like, oh, can you tint my daughter's eyebrows? She's 14. And you'd be like, oh, honey, she's just 14. She doesn't need it just yet. Like, go somewhere else. But I guess there's always going to be someone that will do it mm. for yeah. her. That's disgusting. That's a form of abuse. That child's going to come up with like self-esteem issues. Yeah. Yeah. 100% because her own mother, does. her own mother, the one that's supposed to tell her, you know, you're, you're beautiful, you uh, is being like, you're not beautiful. You're not intelligent. You need to have all this work. Otherwise, right. you'll get nowhere. But <laughs> are we like, are we living in a fantasy world to think that? 
the wor- the world isn't that way inclined. It, it isn't. I, what? That's superficial. But you're she's teaching her child. It is superficial. But not it's a superficial to that world. But it's not to say you can't be successful by not being pretty. No, I I understand that. But um, is the mum is the mum saying stuff that we just don't want to hear? Okay, everyone in here has a different thing of what they find attractive. Hundred percent. Right. So maybe one person won't find her attractive when she's older. Yeah. But maybe the next person will, and he will think she's perfect for him. Yeah. Yep. Right. So. We all go for what we <laughs> find attractive. So how is like superficial? <laughs> what are you saying, CJ? What are he's, you saying? He's backing up why this is wrong. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not saying it's like, not wrong. She'll find the person that we good for her. But they, 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 not the, like the, I guess what the mum's trying to say is not that oh you're not going to find a man. Is like if you want to be successful, like I want you to be a celebrity. I want you to do something big with your life. The only way you can do something big with your life is by being attractive. Because you're yeah. not smart enough. You're not attractive enough now. So what have we got left? That's what she's saying, yeah. Mum is a bitch. Yeah. 100%. That mum is a motherfucking bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Biatch. But the mum's not even that good looking. Maybe the mum should get some work done. Like no, she Because <laughs> mum needs some she work. Has. She has had work. She, she came up on herself. More. She's like, oh, next generation. I cannot change this skin now. So she's working on her daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Man, mum's got issues. Yeah. That's true. So we're all in agreement like, that the mum has issues, right? Of course. Yes. Where's do you, that? Like, I asked my that, thing yeah. is like, so when I read this, I didn't, there's some things I get very emotionally like triggered by, but this one, like for some reason, I just saw it as like, that's sad. But yeah. it felt like you got more emotionally triggered than Dev when you read this. Um, just because um, I was I was big, I'm big on not um, putting my limitations on my kids. I'm like very aware when I'm like talking to my kids that I don't say you can't do things because I can't do it. <laughs> that that like and yeah. I think that's what parents do to like to keep we think we're keeping our kids safe by saying stuff that putting our limitations on them so they won't get hurt. Whereas we should just encourage them to break always go past it. Like my big thing is that I hope my kids surpass me in every aspect of my life so i hope they're smarter than me taller than me i hope they're more athletic than me i hope they're like you know what i mean everything but like Dude, mentally what if they, but, but then what if they don't want to be surpass, <laughs> what if they don't want to surpass you what if they're comfortable just being average joe and oh then i'm happy like. with that as well but like i'm not i'm not i'm not the guy that's gonna i it be the best version of themselves like whatever it is I'm, I'm happy with whatever they do but i don't want to put my limitations on them. So um, if they just want to be who they are and, and, and average Joe, that's fine, but it's not because I've placed that limitation on them. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Nice. Do you agree, Emma? Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. No, I just think it's despicable that you're going to tell your own child that, that they're, they're that, that like, what the hell? Clearly, this child is going to have like, emotional issues you know, honestly, when she's older. If you had a kid, a child, and it wasn't an attractive child, to you, that kid would still be attractive. Still be beautiful. Right. Because you just love it. Yeah. I just, I don't like, know. Everyone else might go, Ugh, horrifying, but in your eyes, that kid's still beautiful. Mm. What's wrong with this person? I don't know. She didn't hear that song. What? Beautiful. And also, no. like, surgeries what are, song? are dangerous. What song? <laughs> from, um, from, um, um, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera. Oh. You're beautiful, oh. no matter what they say. Words can't break me down. You know that song? Yeah. But Christina Aguilera. It used to be sung. I, I've heard that song a lot better. <laughs> Screw, Screw you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what was that, Maxi? Didn't it's Di- Dido? That's a singer, right? Yes, yes. Eminem. Didn't she sing that? No. no. Oh. But there's so oh, many it's... songs are beautiful because there's that that English guy that sings it. Who? Oh. James Blunt. Yeah. What is he? How does what You're is beautiful? You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go? (laughs) You're beautiful. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. (laughs) It's crazy 
crazy that he was in the army before he became a singer. Was he a lute? Did he have his lute? And did he he's the, like the f- he's the funniest guy. A lute? Have you seen his like a twitch, twitch, twitch. <laughs> follow me, children. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, a what guy? Funny he's guy. a really funny, funny guy. Oh, really? He got, he got I think, an award for like the best Twitterer of the year or something. Oh no! I don't know, I don't know who, or, like, who was the authorizing <laughs> governing body of that, but he got That's it. That's insane. <laughs> Great trip to the gods. Oh, Maxi, from a person um, that um, doesn't have child yet. <laughs> Why can't what, you say that you... like in a sentence? <laughs> what, what, uh, what would your um, <laughs> Philosophy B <laughs> at the moment for your uh, for a, for your future kids at the moment, or your I don't know. That's a really really big question. What what would my philosophy be? Yeah, you're beautiful. I guess similar to you in a way, but I, my my um, I would want them to when they're at school, I would want them to see more than life than just school. If that mm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. So whether that's a hobby or I would like them to do just to feel like the world's a big place. Yeah. That's the main thing. And then if they feel like the world's a big place and then, then they can go and do whatever they want. But I think maybe it- one thing which can happen is people often get very depressed and anxious and stuff. But they feel like they're trapped in this box. And if something goes wrong with their friends, then the world's over. Right. Yeah. I would just like them to understand that life moves forward a lot and you have to seize the day kind of thing. So I'd like to show them the world and be like, well, you how do you can say that in Latin? Do this. See the day. Yeah. C'est la vie. No, no, it's such, a, such as life. Sorry. Seize the day in but Latin. It's a thing. It's um. That's what um. Po- <laughs> the poet <laughs> society. What's seize the day in Latin? Um. Seize uh, the day. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> not, <a laughs> not Maltese. <laughs> Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Ah, seize the day. It. Carpe diem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my philosophy, my kids. Carpe diem. <laughs> Carpe diem. Nice. I like that. I like that. I think. I think if they see the world as a as a big place, it it helps them uh, stay humble as well. I feel. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like when you look at celebrities and stuff. Like I, it's, I just think I think um, I think it's very easy, and I did the same, and I see it with my sister sometimes. Is it's everything seems very linear, you know, like. That is up. That good is in that direction. Bad yep. in this direction. Yeah. So I have lots of Instagram followers. I'm good. If I have little, I'm bad. Or yep. there's whatever you focus your life on, like football. I'm a professional footballer. I'm good. I'm the worst in my class. I'm bad. Like I just want them to see that, like these are just small aspects of a massive, massive picture, yep. and then they can choose like what part of that picture they want to make an impact on. Nice. Make sense. Yep. I like that. I, I might. Know. I might implement. I'm not a dad. I might implement that. <laughs> I don't know how. Take notes. <laughs> <That's> I, <tough. laughs> I don't know how, but I'll implement I just, that.